Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So kind of talked about it in the past, but today I'm going to be adding the um, six month undated extension pack for the monthly to my planner as part of my home planning systemized thinking. So if you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you will subscribe so you don't miss any good content. And of course, if you are not new, then you are like BFF. So you already know that I love you all. So I'm gonna flip back here to my, where I theoretically would have my house cleaning section. I need to put something up there to, to be that little house cleaning section. But I kept this, uh, stuff from the home insert. I don't even know if that's something that they make anymore. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of it recently. Um, or the home, I don't know if it's still a thing or not. I'm not sure. I haven't paid attention, but I feel like I haven't seen them. However, I can say that I love the idea of this. I think I still have a bunch of inserts of this, but I didn't use it as much as one might think. The grocery list was hard because unless I took this big planner in with me, I never really used it. So, um, or I, I did take the big planner in, but it didn't work very well when I was trying to like add stuff to the cart and just hold it and maneuver it. And whereas the weekly meal sheets are easy to flip in your mini planner and they're super easy to pull in and out and kind of look at and glance because the half pages. So I've much rather enjoyed using this um, than this. This I love too, except that I didn't necessarily always follow it. Not everything applied and then some things applied more than once. And I did like this, but I want something a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this lovely house cleaning section, but I'm going to use this which has a lot of really great assets for for me. So I'll probably just use the first one that's in the order. I don't see any reason why not. And that out. I'm gonna use one month at a time because a couple reasons. One is that I don't know that I would use a whole, like I don't know that this will be a whole month's worth. I might take, it might be, take me two months to finish that one. Right, you know, I'm gonna do that later because I'm fiddling and trying to get that back in and it's just not looking for me now. Um, I might use more than one for a month or like not one or anything like that. So I think to start, I'm gonna move this aside and I'm gonna look through it and see exactly what I'm gonna do. So monthly, I might do like a brief overview, but I'm probably not gonna utilize the monthly as much as I'm gonna utilize the page inserts and the habit trackers, um, the focus ons, that kind of stuff. So like for example, what I'm gonna do is on the focus on, these are gonna be things that I need to clean the house on for the month that might be like I don't do them every month, like washing the windows outside or um, cleaning underneath the microwave or cleaning underneath the fridge or like things that I don't do, probably should do every month, but like don't do all the time. I do them like once every six months or something like that. So that is going to be the section where I put those things on. And then I'm going to use the habit trackers for like making my bed, making Braden's bed, not brushing my teeth, but that would be, <laughs> that's nothing to do with house cleaning and I don't need to have a tracker for that, but my son's teeth maybe, but like that would be like along the same lines of like things that I need to be doing every day, but I don't necessarily do. And then having a self-realization and being like, man, I only made the bed like 10 times last month instead of like all the months, all the days. So that's kind of the breakdown of what I'm gonna do. And then in the dailies, then I'm going to write the things that I want to clean daily and um, be ready to, to rock and roll with that. So let's see about, so I'm probably not, I mean, I'm going to keep the monthly. I don't need like 15 million different monthly overviews. So I don't think I'm going to use that really. 
but I am just gonna write a couple of the habit trackers in that I already talked about when they were a little bit into March already but I am gonna start with making the bed making beddo I don't <laughs> beds I don't know sometimes it's, not, it's late I don't know I don't I don't know I can spell you guys I promise even though probably like man spell check is a good friend of mine but I can normally I mean some words but probably wouldn't want to spell it when a spelling bee but I can I can do the regulars all right the other one that I want to do is um, making the beds is like really important to me because I don't do it enough put it close away oh excuse me I'm so sorry it's putting clothes kind of late here and it's been a long week and the week's not over yet but it's been a long week let's see all right so I'm just gonna work with those two for right now and I don't know that I have any specific notes but what I will probably do with this is just write um, down any like exceptions or anything but likely this is not gonna get used a whole lot the monthly goals I like too, but there's things about the goals that I will probably write down, but it's going to kind of be the focus on the goals are going to be kind of along the same same lines. Um, the get it done, same idea. Like these are going to be lists of things I need to do, but probably all coinciding with the same thing. The top three, they're going to be um, the, th the three things I want to focus on having clean the most, but it's going to come from this list. This is the way that I want to do it. And then what I'm going to do... As I'm gonna take this lovely, beautiful page, and I'm just gonna grab something really light and colorful that makes me like feel super good. And I'm going to, and I'm gonna start like this is for tomorrow, so I'm gonna just do Friday, which is probably when you'll be watching this. And tomorrow I want to, so I'll probably need to center that higher or take up the whole line or something. But I want to clean the floors. in the bathrooms. I probably will not do like multiple tasks of this largeness. Not that cleaning floors and bathrooms in one day is like super large, but. And then of course I'm gonna do my daily tasks of doing the dishes and cleaning the counters. That's probably needs to go on my habit tracker too. Cause that would be along the same lines of like I mean, I clean the counters every day, but do I clean the counters every day? Like, I wipe them down, but probably something I need to check to make sure that I'm doing it on a regular basis. And then I want to spend some time decluttering. And so the things that, so this is like for tomorrow. We're starting fresh. I'm going to see how this works. But the things that I'm going to do, like, um, that I want to do the focus on, and I kind of put these as my monthly goals. I think when I did my monthly layout, um, let me see, actually just look real quick since I have it. Yeah, I wanted to clean the garage, change the vents, which I did. Guys, I can mark that and clean the laundry room. So I will add the laundry room to my list here. Um, and when I say clean the laundry room, I mean pull the laundry, the washer and dryer out and clean underneath them and like really clean the laundry room. And I want to clean the garage. And so obviously this is like mainly this is for house cleaning, but this is for any house goals that I have. Maybe on my goals I want to repaint a room or I want to do something goal related in the house and that's what it's for. Um, I also want to take down the Christmas lights. Don't judge, I know they're still up. We've had some crazy weather. Most of them are down. But there's some high ones that my hubby needs help with that I we will have to do together and have to get some help from somebody else. Um, and then, although these don't have check boxes, I just realized that I'm probably gonna draw check boxes in and be like, so I can check them off as I go. Maybe over this side, I don't know. Something along the lines of that. And be like, ready. What else do I wanna do? I'm not that ambitious, because I've got a lot going on, but like, definitely wanna do those things. These are two are really important to me. 
think, which this is not me, so this is this is gonna be a honeydew task, but I wanna pressure wash the decks. And probably stain the decks. Totally not me again, I say that like I'm doing it, but nope. Even the garage, that's a dual task. That's a multifunctional. That's a that's a two-person task. So that's all I can come up with right now. But this is obviously for all month long. Although March is only like, I don't even know. It's like the ninth or something crazy. So it's like halfway over almost. But it will still be effective. So then tomorrow, I'm going to put like a yay after I do those things that I said I was going to do. And um, I also... I'm gonna throw that up there because I'm gonna do some laundry tomorrow. So that is pretty much just like the things I'm gonna do for tomorrow. But I think that this system will be very, very effective for um, keeping on track of the months that I wanna do it. So when I say that I might use this for more than one month, not this section necessarily, but these little papers, these little to-do lists, if I don't necessarily fill them out for seven days a week or whatever, because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna set any too many goals every day necessarily, so if I don't use them for every day, if I do every other day, or however I do it, if I have any left over, then they're just gonna be left over and I'll use them, use them elsewhere. But these pages, I'll probably use them as they're intended to be used for the month period of time. But then, like I said, the daily to-dos might get broken down differently. And that's okay, because they're great, and I feel like these sheets are like super useful for anything, so, and even if you cut them up, and you know you can punch them and still put them in and it doesn't have to be just like that so I'm I'm loving it I'm loving the whole section so I'm gonna put this month in and if you feel like you're you know really bulky then you can I'm taking this out though oh it's no paper I love no paper but I'm certainly not gonna be using that so I think I might take it out and just leave it like this I don't know, I mean, I guess it's not going to hurt being in there, but it's not going to get used, so. Um, definitely don't need 15 versions of this. However, you can just get this and put some pin some um, rings on it and make it your planner if you don't have a lot to do and this is kind of all you want to do, like a small daily to-do and you want some monthly overviews, then I would encourage you to pick this up. Definitely. I got the one for the mini. Loving it. And they have them, so if you want to make it your planner, just get a cover, get some rings, put take an old cover, take old rings however you want to do it but you can definitely make this your whole planner if you want to but for those for that purpose for what I'm using for I don't need an extra one of these I have I already barely filled these out totally I mean I love them I love the idea of them but when you have 10 to fill out because they're in every planner and I have multiple planners but I don't need them in multiple planners so um, but yeah if you feel like your planners are too bulky and you want to keep it as thin as possible you can pull the extra pages out and then put them in as you use them up too so that's another option with that. But I'm just gonna pop this into my house cleaning section. And I'm gonna see if I can find a sticker. I don't even know what it would be, cause it's like my home. I'm not sure what sticker would be like the appropriate sticker to go on that. Like a house maybe. You know, that's one thing I have to say that Mambi does not have very many of is houses. Like they just have they don't have very many house stickers. I don't even know that they have a house sticker. Let's see if there can be something in this. Let's don't have something. I mean, I can put like, oops, a coffee cup. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's the laundry, there's the weekend ones. What's for dinner, steps. A banana. So I noticed in these stickers, and I did the wrong one totally, but daylight savings time is quickly approaching, and they have daylight savings time starts, and then they had a daylight savings time ends. And I really didn't know which one was the start and which one was the end. I just always know it's daylight savings time. So chores. Look, that's perfect. Chores. Okay, I'm gonna flip here and just throw that little chores sticker. Kind of went over, but that's okay. Okay. 
Okay, all right, so chores, perfect. So now you have my budget review, my daily stuff, my week, or well, that's my weekly, but my daily, my sticky notes, my goal section, budget review, and house cleaning. Love it, so happy with that. So, really glad that's in there. I am planning on redoing my planner a little bit because now that February's over, and we're almost into March, I'm getting down to one month of my planner, and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the next with the next quarter. So I'm probably going to move um, February and March out here soon. Well, and I say that, like probably the end of March, I will do this, and move April in, and then I'm considering revamping my whole goal getter section in it, and kind of changing how I use these, because I haven't used them every day, because I've been making these really great to-do lists and um, I need to be using them more, but I think I might have a change of how I want to use them. So be on the lookout for that because I think I, and I don't use them on the weekends because I don't have an agenda normally. I mean, if I have a really busy weekend, I'll use it, but the goal is to not, right? The goal is to like hang out and relax on the weekends. So I don't really want to have an agenda for myself. If I want to wake up at seven, great. If I want to wake up at nine, great. I want it to be like my, look, you can't even see, my option. So, um, yeah, so that's where that's gonna come in. But we're gonna we're gonna go through that in another video. Now that I've ranted on for like a million years. Yeah, and I um ordered some stuff for maybe for the new releases, so I'm anxiously awaiting that to get in, and as soon as it does, I will be unboxing it and it's gonna be great and I'm so excited and I can't wait to do it and I can't wait to share it with you all and look be on the lookout for that too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, can't wait to see how it works out and I will review with you guys how the success of how I've been using it. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, whether it's morning, noon, or night, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day.